Well, hundreds of national and international artists are showcasing their work at the Cherry Creek Arts Festival this weekend. One artist with ties to Fort Collins now travels the world. Our Joel Hillen shows us how he connects generations through his art. Hi, I call these the, the jobs of yesteryear. Inspired by the surrealist and whimsical styles of Salvador Dali and Tim Burton. Those are my initials. That's how I sign my paintings, oh, yeah. yeah. Tyler Voorhees uses acrylic and paper on wood to take jobs from the past and bring them to the present. It's a great way for generations to connect. Uh, it's, it's a grandmother walking into my booth and showing her granddaughter, oh, this is a switchboard operator and this is what I used to do when I was your age. Within each painting is an allusion to the technology which will eventually make that job obsolete. And so in my image of the lamplighter, I have a little power outlet that just hints at that little evolution of you know, our source of power and how that changed many industries, <laughs> notably the lamplighter. Recently, Tyler embarked on the jobs project. Anywhere in the world, any community, there's a, there's a worker, there's an industry it was really central in shaping that community. In Morocco, he created a public mural at a high school, illustrating the men whose life's work was weaving. It's these old men that sit in this uh, kind of dilapidated building and weave these beautiful tapestries and beautiful blankets by hand, and they've been doing that for, for centuries. Using his distinct long limb features, Tyler hopes highlighting these giants of the past will serve as a thank you. I think that's the main feeling that I feel when I'm painting these is gratitude for the workers of the past that worked so hard to build up what I enjoy now. In Denver, Joel Hilling, covering Colorado First.